have so many fried rice in Hong Kong, right? Well, we have the Yushu Dan Bak Chow Fan, which is egg white dry scallop. Then we have Fuk Bin Chow Fan, which is kind of like a wet Chow Fan. And then we have Yin Yang Chow Fan, which is like a Yin and Yang and tomato sauce with cream sauce under fried rice. And Fai Chow Fan. Oh, Fai Chow Fan. Fai Chow Fan is Western fried rice, which is um, it's tomato sauce. Tomato sauce fried rice. So out of all these fried rice, which one do you think we should try today? We should go for Yin Yang Chow Fried rice. rice. Okay. Yes. So. What is Yangzhou Chao Fan? Is it really from Yangzhou? Yangzhou is actually nearby uh, Nanjing, okay. one of the biggest, uh, one of the major cities in China. Is that someone called Yangzhou back in Sui Dynasty? One occasion, he treated Empire Yang the egg fried rice, which was oh. like his favorite. It's and like the emperor's fried rice. Exactly. Okay. Oh, that's my, that's my again. And I want to Yangzhou Chao Fan. There's a few category of restaurants that I think we should give it a try, right? Yep. So I was thinking we need to go try one of three Michelin star hotel. Personal pick would be Long Geng Hin, which is um, uh, Four Seasons. Another of my thought would be to try these old timers, Lok Yu. Lok Yu Tea House, tea house yes. is in Central. Yep. What is the fourth one? I would say it's more like a chain restaurant okay. called Superstar. Okay. So it's oh, like, yeah, a yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a very chain, com chain Hong com Seng. Hong Seng. Yeah. yeah. Like also, a dim sum restaurant. Uh, yeah. Hong Kong, what we also known for is the Cha Chan Tang or uh -huh. Bai Bai Dong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. So it's like the local street store experience. Experience. I thought we should also hit up uh, Duck Yu. Duck Yu, yes, I so, like that place a lot. Yeah, so it's you can sit outside. It's almost like the local exactly. El Frisco dining of Hong Kong. We could hit up one of the lunchbox places. And I thought of locking one lunchbox places that my friends and I would actually order almost every single day. The last one, it's it's a little bit more high end restaurant. The chef has been written about that. He's actually from. Yangzhou, yes. and uh, he actually specialized in Yangzhou Chao Fan. And this place is called Sub Lei Yuan which is I think called Teng Teng Shanghai. Shanghai. Yes. yes, in Causeway. So yummy. Star Intermission. The place that I was almost quite looking forward to, which is Long Geng Hin in Four Season, they do not do takeout. Oh my god, Four Seasons, come on. I thought you guys would do anything. Now we're going to Island Shang to Summer Palace. Yes. Yes. So hopefully that worked out. We got our rice all set up. By the way, we're doing a blind tasting. Underneath, we put the name of the restaurant. We are very systematically prepared to have some grading material. And uh, Kelvin, you created this thing, and I'm going to wait. Um, what? Oh, Jesus! What's wrong? It's okay. Our first criteria: hardness. The second criteria: wetness. Mm -hmm. And the third one is oiliness. Okay, yes, I understand about the oiliness. And then, um, then we have the portion ingredient. How proportionate? is the ingredient versus the rice and then the overall flavor and at the end you're gonna tell me how much all of these cost and we're gonna evaluate based on the cost and the quality of the fried rice um, which is our top favorite right I was thinking that we're gonna we're gonna rate something else so as you can see actually the rice are quite different in color um, it's like different shades of yellow first this one Oh, cheers. First rice. The color is a little bit bland, I must say. It's quite moist. Wait, is there any shrimp? I somewhat know where this is already. The rice is flavorful, not too salty. Moving on to rice number two. Looks pretty good already. I see ham. Uh, I noticed there's a lot of lettuce. Mm. Actually, this one does not have shrimp. Uh, they have a little bit of tasu. They have well, tasu. And uh, they have ham and sausage, and it's quite pale in color. Okay. You know what? This actually reminds me of legit egg fried rice more than mm. Yangzhou fried rice. Third one. I, at least I see some eggs. Yes, there's eggs. I see shrimps, and I see char siu. Yeah. So here, there's some cut shrimps. This is not whole shrimp. It looks bland to me. 
Like there's like no color whatsoever. It's almost like a very sad bowl of fried rice. Yeah. To me. Sorry, it's just, we couldn't give too much expression to this fried rice. Now, I, this Ooh. this fried rice definitely looks very much more colorful and interesting. I'm already really wanting to eat it. Look at it, it's so pretty. This one has some color to it. To me, this is slightly a little bit oily, oily right? Hmm. Yeah, I can't imagine having this whole bowl by myself. <laughs> I'm way too oily. Yeah, the flavor is good though. Not bad. All right, number five, immediately I see these gigantic prawns. Well, I, I would, I Look would almost that. Look at that. Lots of egg. You can see, compared to like this, mm. lots of eggs. There's actually quite a lot of shrimp. See, it's quite big, the shrimp. So that's a good one. Mm. Mm. This is by far the tastiest shrimp out of all four yet. All right, last one, thank goodness. Okay. Look at the eggs. Yes. The eggs. Look it's at actually, that. If you look at it, it's actually very, like the rice is really white and the egg is really yellow. The eggs are actually in shreds. And I can cut it like that. They oh. cut their shrimp into little pieces. There's actually ham. There's chicken. Wow, I'm impressed with chicken. You can tell yep. the chef has some skills. I mean, texture-wise, I think this one wins for sure. Mm. Has lots of great, like, crispy, like, that kind of texture going on. Very photogenic, that's for sure. Mm. But when you actually put it in your mouth, it's slightly a little... Oh. <laughs> Sad. So now we are going to review which is which. The first one we have here. This one is dong 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 dong. It's locking. Oh, this is locking. Oh, this is your childhood favorite. Wow. It's a very standard low fan. Low. Low fan low. means man rice. Manly, ma manly, manly rice. rice. Manly rice. Yes. Okay, I'll leave that. You can take that home for yourself. <laughs> And then this one, of course, is duck yu. This one is definitely a, a very quick and easy going and, um, and nice and flavorful that you can have a quick lunch and be full and go, mm. go about doing your work afterwards. This one, let me see. I think it's Summer Palace. <gasps> I knew it because the way of how they chop the dice. Oh my god! Summer Palace? How much is this again? 256. I know, right? Oh. And this must be... Superstar, I would think. <gasps> oh my god, it's Superstar. Are you sure? I am sure. I would say the prettiest of them all is, I would say, because maybe it's like very colorful. Mm. It looks very appetizing. And this one, I'm pretty sure it's Lok Yu. It's just something about it. It has like a kick to it and then the shrimp is definitely very whole hey walk hey yeah well. exactly so mm. the last one must be sub layer and yes as you can see it's just so delicate it, it's almost like a little lady that Shanghai needs also you know they care about how their products are being um, mm. portrayed all right Kelvin if you had to go to get off your fried rice kick mm. Where would you go to? If I go with my family, I think I would go with Lok Yu. In terms of the flavor, the texture, they do a good, pretty good job. And I actually quite like the sauce, sauce base. If I'm just going by myself, mm -hmm. then I think I would still go with Lok Yu. Yeah. Yes, yes. If I want to impress somebody, family night, or even like going on a date or something like that, I would definitely choose Lok Yu. If I want to go, you know, down or dirty just to to have a quick fix, I would prefer that. Um, definitely has good flavor, and um, I feel satisfied after eating it. We have tasted some of the best fried rice in Hong Kong. Obviously, it can taste different when you dine in. On that note, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. subscribe and comment down below make sure you follow us until then see you next time bye